Blumhouse is looking to get into the Michael Grayeyes business, and who could blame them? Every time Grayeyes shows up in a film or series he raises the project's quality by at least a star or two. Whether it's a leading part or a walk-on role, Grayeyes is quickly establishing himself as a character actor to be reckoned with. Deadline is reporting that Grayeyes has signed a first-look development deal with Blue Mouse, which means that the actor, director, and professor will be bringing new projects to the Fright Factory. That doesn't necessarily mean we'll see a slate of Blue Mouse movies starring or produced by Grey Eyes as sometimes these things get signed, someone gets paid, and then the whole thing evaporates, but it's a positive step for all involved. There's not a whole lot of information in the deadline story. No mention of any potential projects Grey Eyes is developing with the studio, which leads me to believe that these are very early days indeed. Reading between the lines something you can deduce from this deal is that Jason Bloom and his partners have seen what Michael Grayeyes did as the main heavy in their Firestarter remake and they want to lock that dude down before the rest of the industry sees it. Grayeyes is playing John Rainbird in this remake, a role played by the extremely miscast George C. Scott in the original Drew Barrymore film. Rainbird is a cunning assassin who is obsessed with death, specifically the moment the lights go out in his target's eyes. He believes the secret to the great unanswered question of the universe can be found there. Erica Jane's estranged husband's legal problems are now an even bigger problem for her. She's been sued for $25 million by the trustee handling Tom Girardi's law firm's bankruptcy case. According to the suit, the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, stars accused of knowingly allowing Girardi's firm to pay for her expenses for 12 years, so the trustee now wants her to pay it all back. The XXPEN Dollar Ive, singer's company, EJ Global, allegedly used her estranged husband's firm to cover her American Express bill, pay assistance and have a glam squad, all totaling up to the whopping $25 mil. The trustee suing Jane says that even if she claims to have not been aware of Girardi's financial issues, it would be a miscarriage of justice if she was allowed to simply walk completely free of owing over $25 million to the estate. The trustee's asking the court to order her to pay it all back to the estate, plus interest. According to page 6 as we reported. So, when he's sent after a poor little girl who just happens to have the ability to start fires with her mind, you know it's bad news. It's a disturbing character as written by Stephen King and after seeing the intensity Grey Eyes brought to his previous work in stuff like, True Detective, Wild Indian, and, Blood Quantum, the sky's the limit to how much more terrifying this character will be in the new film. Clearly, the head honchos at Blumhouse think he knocked it out of the park. Girardi's moved into a senior living facility amid his legal issues, health issues, divorce, being disbarred and being forced to auction off a lot of stuff from his law offices to cover his debts meanwhile. On a recent, RHOBH, episode, Erica tearfully denied that she filed for divorce as a sham way to hide assets, something she was already sued for as well. In this industry, money speaks louder than words. So if they're signing Grey Eyes to a development deal, you know they're all in. Time will tell on what kinds of projects he brings to the studio. The obvious thought would be genre since Blumhouse is indeed built on its successful horror films. But don't forget Bloom also produced Spike Lee's Black Klansman and Damien Chazelle's Whiplash, as well. Like I said before, the sky's the limit.